Okay, so in the fourth exercise, we need to write a Python function that takes a positive integer n and returns the sum of the squares of all the positive numbers smaller than n. That should be fairly easy. We just do, we define the function sum square and it will be an integer and in the end we return an integer again. Okay, so now, uh, the, easy, the easiest way to do this is by um, looping through all the integers up to n. But first we declare a variable s, which is going to be equal to 0, where we will uh, store the sum of all the numbers that we iterate through. And now uh, I'm going to use the range uh, built-in function in Python. In this case, range is going to produce a list of numbers starting from uh, 0 up to n minus 1. So it will not include n, and this is what we need in this case. Uh, to do that, I'm just going to do um, s is equal to s plus x squared, and I'm going to use the shorthand notation. Okay, and in the end, we can just do return s. Let's run this. Okay, some squares, and if I do 5, I get 30, which uh, I guess is right. Um, 1 squared is 1, plus uh, 4 is 5, plus uh, 9 uh, is 14, and uh, 4 squared is 16, 30, so sounds right. Okay, that was really um, easy to do using the loop, but in the next exercise, um, we are asked to do the same thing, but just using a one-liner, and we can use the built-in sum function and the list comprehension syntax in Python. So let's rewrite this function. I'm going to stop running the script. I'm just calling this sum squares to... Okay, so this is going to be... Uh, first, let's make the list of all the squares um, small of the numbers smaller than n. And to do that, we can write a comprehension like this one, which is going to be x squared for x in range of n. Okay, so this is uh, um, a list comprehension that will produce the list of squares that we need to sum. And we can just use the sum function, the built-in sum function, to sum it all up. And we just return it. Okay, so we can run it again. And do sum squares 2. And if we give it 5, it's going to produce 30 again. Okay. So that was also the fifth exercise um, rewriting of the ex of the sum of squares. Uh, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next exercise.